Hey guys, I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial about these Volvo key fobs. Now Volvo, when you buy standard, comes with these three key fobs, what you see here. You can see this is one of my key fobs which has stopped working, which does not even have a single scratch on it. Because I always keep it like this, safe and sound, where it's completely protected from any kind of damage. But suddenly what's happened right now, is this key fob has stopped recognizing the car and it won't open or start it. So when you go back to them, they say they have to reprogram these two keys. And apparently they're going to charge me a bomb. So I, I found a way out. Okay, this key is still not working. Uh, and this is the third key that generally comes with Volvo, which stops working after like uh, two years or two and a half years. This is the key fob which they give to go to the beach. And this is apparently not openable. So what I'm trying to so show you here is how to have the battery changed in this one. So you would still have two spare keys. Thank you. All right, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to change the batteries in this Volvo key fob. Um, that they make it waterproof. So you can probably take it to the ocean um, was swimming to the beach and stuff okay now what I've done for this is this is usually not openable so as you can see there are small gaps in here is because what I have used here is uh, the hammer to slightly tap on it so basically what I do is I use the screwdriver and fix it in the gap and hit it gently with the hammer so once it splits open this is how it looks inside so this is like a double tape and that's the battery so this is how the inside looks like and the batteries are actually stuck see i have pulled out one of these sides using a nose plier and the other side is still stuck as you can see here I have kept it so that you can see how I'm doing this. So basically it's connected. So once it's pulled out, this is how it looks like. Now this is the new battery what I have. So it was in this position. So you put this in the same position in between them. I put the replacement battery in the same position. But I'm not sticking it back. I'm just going to close it with the lid. I've peeled off the old uh, double tape. That's what it is. And I've got a new 3M uh, double tapes. And I'm going to cut it to the same size. And I'm going to stick it here so that it holds the entire case together. For reinforcement, you could probably use uh, quick glue or something. So that's the new double tape in place. I'm going to peel this off and then stick it together and then test it on the car if it's going to open it. So what I've done here is I've put in a insulation tape. You could even uh, try and put in a quick glue. But then if you put in a quick glue, it could be tricky. I'm just walking to the car to show you if this key is going to work or not. Okay, so there's the car. Let's try and use the key. Now this key does not have a lock or an unlock, so let's hope it's going to work. Alright, that's good. So it did just unlock the car, let's try and lock it back. Here we go. Okay, so that worked absolutely fine. I hope this information was useful guys.